be filled with the spirit, but you gotta know what the spirit is. It's not that spirit of the Christian church, that, that Christian, Christianity garbage, man. It's the spirit of God, the Bible's words, man. His law, statutes, and commandments. Like I said before, there is a difference between the God you serve in that Christian church and God, the Bible. And he's showing you right here. And the God that you're supposed to feel, like I brought out earlier in Deuteronomy 32, is the God that kills, that unalives, it's the God that heals. Not some God that loves everybody because you're not gonna feel him. And since you don't feel him, you're gonna continue your wickedness. You're gonna continue to do drugs and we all know there's child abuses out here it's, it's, it's not nothing, like the christian trust not speaking on it there's going to be more child abuses out here more of our sisters coming up missing if you do not get the proper fixing that you need which is god of the bible man on westboro right so we can show our people why we need this healing so we can fix our problems in the community because the christian church not going to heal us now drop that give me james chapter 4 verse 4 man because we're going to show our people the, the the main source problem that goes on in america our people are so used to america's lifestyle and they're trying to join and cleave to it this place right here god told us to separate from we're supposed to separate out of America. America's culture is not the culture for God's chosen people. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and the American Indian. Anything these other nations do to success, we're not supposed to look at that. If you want real and true success, all you got to do is follow the words of God of the Bible. Not the God of the Christian church or any of, the, any of these other religions, man. Because they're not going to give our people the fixing that we need. But once we get this scripture, we're going to show our people why we got to separate ourselves from this society from this world that we live in, that we was brought here by force, which is America, and stop set of serving their religion that they gave to us, Christianity, Muslim. Because when we came over here doing slavery, we was not Christian, we was not Muslim. And if you ask any of our brothers what were we, you cannot get the answer because we've been stripped from our identity, from the hands of the same God that you serve, white Jesus Christ and his nation of people, man. Oh. And this is why God and the priests of the soccer, this is why the priests and prophets of the IHBK tell our people specifically, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and they American Indians to separate, get out that Christian church and stop serving this devil called white Jesus because he is the deceiver of the earth, the liar of the earth. And we're going to get this scripture right here, James chapter 4, verse 4. The book of James chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye adulterers, and adulteresses know ye not that the friendship of the world that the friendship of the world Whoa. now we all know about john 3 16 god so loved the world and if you our people don't understand that that was pushed on us during christianity with white jesus and they don't have the the the, the, the understanding of the bible they do not understand the bible since we haven't read the Bible, we put all our trust in the pastors. The pastors took on a white man religion, which is Christianity, to continue to destroy us as a people. But the priests and prophets, we took the time to study and show thyself approved and found out that everything they told us was a lie. It was a lie. And it, and it proved it. All you got to do is look at the proof of the pudding. Just look at the conditions, how we live it today. We are destroyed. And we destroy specifically with Christianity and Islam. And there's more, read. The book of James, chapter 4, and verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. It's enmity with God. If you love America and you serve America, if you was in the, uh, America's military and you are all dying citizen, you are the enemy of God, man. Enmity with God. Slack it up the word say. But God, you are against God if you love this world called America. And God specifically told so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians to separate from this society, from this world. This is what our people don't understand. There's a difference between the two, between earth and world. You think world includes everybody. The, the definition of the word world means age or society. 
This world that we came in in America before slavery is the new world. And this world right here is enmity with God. God is going to destroy this world called America, which is spiritually Babylon the Great, spiritually Egypt, man. And this is why so-called blacks and Spanish in America, in America today are still at the bottom of society. And if you read the Bible in the book of Exodus and look at how the Hebrews, the true Hebrews, the God-chosen people live, we live in the same way that we did back then in America today, man. And this is why God, the Bible is telling us to separate from, from this place called America, Babylon the Great, Egypt. Now drop that, give me, we're going to continue to give our people more healing. Give me Ephesians chapter 5 and give me verse 18. Because we're going to give our people the healing that we need, man. And we're going to show our people what they, the, the propaganda that they're pushing on our people. Right now, I got a TikTok account. I don't know if some of the, old, the older generation, they know about TikTok. But they're advertising the, the, the so-called weed because weed is illegal. And they have a bunch of these smoke shops. I don't know if you recognize it popping up in our community all of a sudden. Just like the Christian church. They go hand in hand. It's the smoke shops. It's the ABC stores, it's the liquor stores, and now it's the vape stores. These are all the products from the Christianity church that's being pushed on our people to keep us at the bottom of society. And this is the problem that goes on with our community, man. This is why we're destroyed, because we're getting enhanced with all these drugs, with all, uh, alcoholism, with uh, child abuse, all these things. And we're trying to find a way to get out this, 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 this jam up that we're in. We can't figure it out. So we go to the church not knowing that the church is the product of the situation that we're in. They're pushing this stuff, telling us God love everybody. That's why you thinking God could uh, bring a vape store and you, and you stressed out, so you're going to get a, uh, some K2 or some vape and smoke your pain away and, and, and be unalive because of it, man. Well, all you got to do is hear the words of God and get healed, and you can drop all that mess, and you can come together, and we can be on top of the society. We're going to start you off with this scripture right here, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. And be not drunk with wine. And be not what? Drunk with wine. Now this is in the Bible. It's okay to drink. But the God of the Bible said, be not drunk with wine. Don't drink your pain away, man. Don't be a drunkard. This is what I'm going into. Because some of our people are alcoholics. And some of our people are ashamed to come and get out and, and ask for help. That's what's wrong with the Christian church. You try to go there and ask for help, and they tell you to be quiet during the service. Let the preacher preach. You can't, you can't tell him what your problem is so you can get it fixed. What he does is he give you entertainment. He right. give you the crowd, the, the, the choir. He give you a band. He give you uh, a poetry. And you and that, that's not hitting our people, man. We've been doing that for 400 plus years. And we're still alcoholics. We're still drug dealers. There's still child abuse going on right now as we speak. And Christianity been existing ever since. Showing that Christianity is the problem. Showing that Islam is the problem, man. And there's more, Reed. And be not drunk with wine. Wherein is access. But be filled with the Spirit. It said, but be filled with the Spirit. But you got to know what the Spirit is. It's not that Spirit of the Christian church. That, that Christianity garbage, man. It's the Spirit of God, the Bible's words, man. His laws, statutes, and commandments. Like I said before, there is a difference between the God you serve in that Christian church and God, the Bible. And he's showing you right here. And the God that you're supposed to feel, like I brought out earlier in Deuteronomy 32, is the God that kills, that unalives, is the God that heals. Not some God that loves everybody because you're not going to fear him. And since you don't feel him, you're going to continue your wickedness. You're going to continue to do drugs. And we all know there's child abuses out here. It's, it's, it's not enough, like the Christian church not speaking on it. There's going to be more child abuses out here. More of our sisters coming up missing. If you do not get the proper fixing that you need, which is God of the Bible, man. There should be more, really. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. It say redeeming the time because the days that we're living in right now, so-called blacks and Spanish and they're working in it, you can understand what I'm saying. It's full of evil. It got worse and it's getting worse, sir, man. Sir. It's getting worse and worse as we speak. It's not, it's, it's, it's not, uh, uh, what you call it, reversing. It's getting worse. Just look at the conditions right now as we speak. Look at Langston Market. I guarantee you in the 60s, Lexington Market looked like a perfect tourist attraction. But look at the condition of Lexington Market right now as we speak. Because of the oppressor's religion. Because of the oppressor's drugs. Because, and, look, and look how he can walk up and down the street untouched. And look at the condition of our brothers and sisters. How on drugs at Lexington Market. Got to sit right here trying to find a job, trying to work a 9 to 5. He can't find a 9 to 5, so he's enhancing his drugs, trying to smoke his pain away and being destroyed. He can't raise his kids because he's full of Christianity, man. He's full of Islam. And it's not, we're not making this stuff up, man. It's not hard to see. We all know there's drug dealers in our community. And we're not scared to speak on it. 
And this is what God the Bible sent out the men of the Ashton Decay to do, to go out here and show our people their transgressions. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please, go to isupk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're one